as you know, we're always excited to be the first reviewer machine. Now this one is the L32, which is a machine that Citizen have supplied a long time. But what's happened with this machine? It's finally got LFB. Oh. So 32 mil capacity, up to 38 mil, non-guide bush, uh, guide bush mode with LFB. Okay, just taking a quick step back in the, in terms of guide bush, non-guide bush, what would that I mean? Most engineers will know, but what would that mean? What, what difference does that make? So, short bar remnants, so you use more of your bar, and also concentricity is always better, and you can use uh, like drawn bar, it doesn't have to be ground, it doesn't have to be precision right. bar. Okay. So, cost savings all around, which again is music to engineers, is, but I want to cover LFE. Now, give me a quick explanation. I mean, people will know, low frequency vibration. What does it mean to an engineer? So, it's, it's an oscillation between the axis in cut, so either if it's X, Z, and the spindle rotation, so it's fully synchronised, the tool will come into cut, come out of cut, and it will just keep doing that and chipping the material. Okay, you make it sound simple, but if this is oscillate, oscillating, if I could say that, the machine... But yeah, it is the, oscillation. So, but is it not going to, well, shake itself to bits in the end? No, because our machines are designed from the ground up, or it's a vibration put in the middle, right. and the machine's designed around it. Oh. So, um, all the slides... Um, guards, lubrication, everything's built to cope with this vibration. Okay. And the machine doesn't even feel it anyway. So. That's a nice little analogy there. So essentially the machine's built around a vibration. Yes, exactly. Brilliant. Okay, so that's mach that machine is running with the LFB. What does that actually mean? So you're less downtime on the machine basically. Okay. You know, uh, less birds nesting, better surface finishes, better tool life. Everything's a winner for LFB. Music in my ears. Again, I'm assuming with that, so no birds nesting for example, no uh, intervention by the operator. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, it, it lights out running constantly. Okay. So. I'm, I'm assuming then as well, even the basics like your swarf bin, it's not full of swarf, it's chipped, less time emptying that? Exactly. So, you know, less time for the labourer walking around emptying the swarf bins. Okay. So they can essentially run more machines? Yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly. So, again, it's not just about the swarf and the chipping, the whole, the whole package there. Yeah, exactly. As long as that door doesn't have to open and the green light's still yeah. on, everyone's happy. Brilliant. And I just want to cover off the L32. So we mentioned guy bush, non guy bush. So 32, 38 mil. What about your spindles, your tooling, your controls? Everything's exactly the same as our standard L32. So you've got the, two, the three types, type 8, which is the entry level machine, up to the type 12, which has got two Ys and a fully programmable B as well. So Chris, people will know the L32. A quick summary of what it can do though. So it's the same as our, our standard L32, seven axis lathe, main, sub spindle, 30 plus tools. Okay, so what I always like to do though, have a quick look at a component that's utilised A, the machine, well, that configuration, plus the LFE, please. So this is a perfect part for our machine, the, well, the L32 and the LFE. There's a lot of material removal, there's a, yeah. probably at least 70% there. Um, I'm and I'm assuming that's aluminium. Yeah, it's aluminium, sorry. No. Um, there's a lot of fine boring, fine finishing. If you have a look at the finishes, they're still really good, you know, using the LFE. And if you're taking a light cut, that's where you're going to get your birds nested. Chris, great summary. L32, Type 8, LFE. Thank you.